Hello everybody and welcome back to another relaxing episode with Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe or OTTD. Uh, in the last episode we kind of set up this rail system which has done its job. Uh, I've only just started playing again from when we left off so it hasn't made like a ton of money just yet but it should do. How many, have we only got the one train or have we got two? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, we just have the one train going. So we really should make another train. Nope, two. Oops, I can easily just check, to be honest. If I go into trains... Okay, I've got three. Uh, I have no idea where they all are. So that one's there, that one's there. And so two are on their way down with full loads. And one is picking up. Which is good. So this one's going to bring me in a little bit more money very soon and I'm going to use that now so I'll show you something um, not many people know of as well when they kind of get into this game they they all everyone just thinks that uh, you can only take things from A to where they have to go from A to B and you can't drop things off and, and do all stuff like that but I'm gonna show you you are wrong so I'm gonna start my railway construction and I'm just going to set this up there like that so we've got another track here and this is not going to be like this track at all this is point A to point B nothing absolutely special it serves one purpose and it's only going to have one train on it so you can probably see what I'm going to do so let's just even this up to that accepts coal I'll just have lengths to Nope, one, one. Seven. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was a bit silly. Apologies if I sound very tired. That's because I am. Last night I had the wedding, and yeah, I, I may, I may have done a few tweets about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm very tired because I've just come back from work as well, so I'm knackered. But anyways, this only produces 54 tons, so it's not really worth creating like a whole new, you know, double train system or whatever. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a small floss train with, let's say, a length of four blocks, which is, what, uh, eight trains. Then we're going to order it to go to there, full load. Oops, it's very difficult with this big screen. So we'll tell that to go, and now for its second order, we shall tell it to go to here. But on this order, we will set to transfer. So it's going to drop off the coal and leave empty and not load anything. So literally, all this train is doing is picking up coal from there and dropping it off here. And that actually gives us a little bit of money as well. That This train is going to bring in a profit. It's not going to be a very big profit but it's going to bring in quite a, you know, a, a, a little chunk and then that coal waits at this station which then gets transported all the way down here and gets more money so we're actually getting quite a bit more money than what you'd expect so that's that done we just gotta wait for a bit until that fills up it's gonna take a while and as as time goes on sometimes coal mines uh, increase their production as we I think we saw in the last one I think that one's increased its production a little bit and that one has gotten to the point that we're going to need another train in there which is okay because they take ages to go back and forth because look at the moment we are not doing very good on this at all we've only transport we're not even half of it is being transported so we're gonna need more trains uh, I could extend the trains by two more carriages to make them completely fill this platform but I'd rather have more trains and take longer to load or, or something I don't know but either way this shouldn't get jammed up because there's the amount of distance between each train it, sh it should be okay if it does then I'll uh, have to extend it here or you know I'll, I'll just move this uh, extra track we just built over one and then have an, a third one or do or turn it into a row row which I have down at the bottom so that train seems to be bringing us in 
the train seems to be bringing us in some money so let's just repay a tad of our loan get down to about 50 grand left anyway not like 50 grand to repay we've got a lot to repay still <laughs> wow this is gonna take a while anyways let's see is a second train coming up soon that one's gone that one's going up not good not good at all well this train will get there soon and is there any more on the way back okay yeah so the rest should be okay now to begin with I always like to dominate the coal industry it's just how I work and you can see we've got one two three uh, four coal mines relatively close to the track already so we don't actually have to do anything drastic to add them on so I could try something I've not done before which does actually that's 117 this may go well I'm not sure so I've not actually tried doing it this way before let's just change it to platform length of six um, but we shall see how it goes uh, I can always add another one I'll just build two just in case so uh, let's pop that there always start with the furthest away first because it costs the same amount to build these stations but you'll get more from stuff further away it takes a little bit longer to get there but in the long run you get more money so let's just extend this out by two and then we just plonk these down just, just turn the trees off for a second now what would be the best way to do this probably get rid of that and just have this carry on like so I should really add in this now though oops I hate how it does that. It never goes on the one I want. And like that. So there we go. So that's going in, and now we need to just get it to go out. Which is not hard at all. I like having at least corners that big as well. Just because you, you can turn around a train like that. But it looks really weird, and there's an, actually an option to turn it, turn it off so you can't have unrealistic bends. Uh, but still, in in a tight pinch, I do do that. <laughs> do do. But still, you know, I try to avoid it if possible. I like things to look really neat. And now let's go to my landscaping. Let's just put this down a bit. Oops. Did not want to do that. We want everything to be this height. There we go. That cost me a bit but we've got a nice income so it doesn't really matter although now we have the problem of this but we can always just do that and have it join on this way which actually works now it doesn't look very pretty to be honest so yeah but then again it's functional so that's all I care about at the moment later on things will look all very pretty when we start doing uh, it's kind of like a flower arrangement of stuff you'll see what I mean anyways need to build this so I'll put that there and there and there we go so it's just a new vehicle the most expensive one because it's the best one uh, and its reliability is not that great but as you can see the other ones you know they've got better reliability but they don't go as fast and they the horsepower isn't that great so one two three four five uh, put this up to five and oh I needed that why did I do that load and off you go we're gonna need at least two of these so I'll clone it just so it's ready for when it's full up 
See, now this is better, we're getting 77% instead. But I would like to be above that. So I could make one more train, but then I think there's too many trains going to this one station. So, uh, I'll add on another carriage to each train as they go past. But, for the moment, we'll just carry on what we're doing. How many is this? 104. Okay, so, let's do the same with this one. I don't care about the cost anymore. I've got a nice income coming in. The only problem with doing this is if you're relatively close to a town, they don't like it, and then you w they won't let you build stations and stuff there. But I seem to be far enough away. <laughs>
is our train that's just going to turn around. It's going to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to upgrade this railway. Uh, I'm just going to turn it to drag and drop on that after I delete this. Just so I have, you know, just so I'm covered for the future. There we go. So now it can actually park here. Another train can come in, in this way. At the moment I'm faced with a little bit of a problem. You can't actually delete these masts and they are in the way and this is, it will be my ideal place to spread the train tracks. It's, it's about halfway between the map. Uh, maybe I could do one here as well. Uh, I'll start off by doing one here. Uh, anyway, so the first thing I've got to do is I've got to make the land even. Um, and that's that's not too much of a bother to be honest so all I need to do is just interrupt the trains for a minute like so get my land and make it even to there and then just connect them again and we'll put the we'll do these again just just for the sake of it but we'll have to remove them anyways in a minute so let's even out the land a bit more because we're gonna need it because it takes up a lot of space to do this and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use uh, that should be enough so let's see if I can remember how this is done uh, this is actually quite a pretty way of splitting your track into a four-way junction. Um, there are other ways of doing it, there are probably more efficient ways, but this is the most common for me. And it does mean that sometimes they have to go uphill or downhill, but that's just the way it works. Um, another way of, of doing it is something like you have your two coming in. Uh, from each, I'm not sure. I've never built one of these. I've only seen them. Uh, two coming in from each side, and you kind of do that, and kind. Of, uh, I'm I'm not sure if this actually works because it's a really weird system. So you got the two coming in from each side. So to get around, you kind of do that and then you have all the signs in so you don't there's no trains going up or down hill but it, it does mean only one train can use it at a time so if a train wants to turn left into there um, you know this train that wants to use or go ahead you know it'll have to stop and it, it'll just jam up quite easily but if you only have a couple of trains using it then yeah this is perfectly fine but I do not want that, I want the more elegant ones um, and your profit last year was pretty poor where are you? what are your orders? Um, no, you'll be fine, I don't care to be honest, I'll, I'll send you for a service in a bit actually I'll just send all my buses for a service so send for servicing, so all my buses are now going to a depot, they're just going to be renewed, have a service so their reliability will go back up and they won't break down as much and hopefully I'll just repay a lot of this, 80, oh I can actually repay all, there we go, we're no longer in debt, yay, but we have very little money until that train goes in so where were we we were what here, ok Okay, so let's let's just get on with this. So the bad thing is you need to have bridges, which means your train has to slow down to go up or up them. So I'm just going to have two bridges that way. So this essentially is the split. This is the core of it. This is where 
the other line is. So now we have two separate lines. Uh, one going that, one going, you know, one going up and down, one going left and right. Um, I don't like this hill either, so let's get rid of that. And I have money as well, so I can do it. Yay! I like it when I'm actually earning a lot of money. <laughs> so now we have to kind of say how big it's going to be and we are already limited by this being here I can just move this though because I would like to have that tad bit more of space so I'll just pop that and do it that way and so let's have it about here so there's enough for some signs there so this that is the boundary of how big this junction is it's going to be the same on each one Uh, and just so trains don't get confused already I will do the signs oops I've just noticed a little bit of a mistake there we go so we have up and then we have this one is going that way and you'll see how all these are joined together in a second uh, by when I put the signs on. So we'll have that going that way, and that going that way. Um, there's still got a bit more to do yet. There's another track that I need to put in each of these, and you should see how it all fits together. Uh, that's already like that. Just like that. So that will be coming from that direction. If something doesn't work, then it will jam up, so make sure you've done it properly. And I've not done this bit properly. Oopsie. It's a bit silly of me. Completely knobbed it up. There we go. Should be good, that should be good. Okay, now I'll just connect this and then put the sign there so nothing crashes into it on the other end. And of course, do the same with this one. and at this end is good yep okay so that's the corners sorted so basically if this train wants to turn left at this junction all it has to do is come up here and go left and it's gone left but if it wants to go right it currently can't do that um, at the moment this is a left only junction so we have to make another another set of rails to make it possible for this train to turn right which means it has to um, kind of double back on itself and go over these bridges and then double back again and it, it does this really weird twirly thing which takes a bit of time but it does mean it can turn um, right now if I remember correctly uh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun remembering how to do this because it's been a little bit of time since I've done it okay so, I believe, I believe I can fly, no, hang on, yeah, okay, so what we've got to do is we have to make a turning here, which means that we have to, this is why you want as big as you can get, and, you know, this is about a medium, I guess a medium size, but if, go a little bit bigger if you can because it means the corners don't look so crappy uh, but basically what you've got let's make it like this 
is this kind of petal shape and then that will join on there but you can see it doesn't it doesn't look how I like it to look but screw it so we do that on each corner so let's just make it two two and in see this is where I kind of break the one corner rule thing but it does got it has got a straight so it doesn't look uh, as you know bad but still I'd rather have it two out but yeah not not much you can do especially when you don't have that much time to plan it so have two like that you should be able to see how this is taking shape now Oops. Okay. So now I'll put in the signs and explain how this sort of works. So have if we want to turn right from here, this the train will come up, it'll keep going up, following the signs, making sure not to crash into anything, then it'll get to here. It will then loop around this way, come up, wait here and Ta-da, it is now turning right. And if it wants to turn around as well, if I think, oh, I've made a mistake, I need to send it back to a station uh, behind it, because this is a one-way system, you know, it can't just turn around, and then it'll crash into other things. So it will come up, it will loop around, it will cross over this bridge, and then it will loop around again and head back down. So it is really quite a, a genius uh, system. But it is it does have its flaws. If you've got a lot of trains using it, it will jam up, uh, depending on how many kind of signals you've got. So, just yeah, do it very cautiously. I've I've never had to rely on another system though, so this works quite well for me. And now we have a new kind of bus, so I will show you how we replace all our vehicles. So this is unique to Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. So if we go into our bus kind of thing. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade them all so yeah okay so you go into manage list replace vehicles and then it will bring up this list and currently we only have two kinds of vehicle running so it's only got these and we want to replace our MPS Regal bus with a Hertford Leopard bus which is the new kind it will cost more the running cost is more but the speed you can see is greater it can hold a little bit more passengers and it's got a little bit longer life. The reliability, however, is not as good. So we'll kind of have to service them every so often, but we're going to start replacing vehicles. So every time uh, it gets sent to a depot, it then gets replaced, but we don't want to do that. So we're just gonna send them all for servicing now, and they will all get swatched, um, switched over to the new kind. <laughs> So what have we done? We've added, we've just done little row row stations um, along the line. Um, we've done a four way junction. We have also done transfers. Uh, what's this now? 78, that's pretty good. And we've nothing waiting there. I think in the next episode we will look more into the passenger side of things like airplanes and carriages and cities and stuff uh, we are only in 1966 so we've been playing this for five years uh, in game years so after five in game years we've completely paid off our debt and we've got a lot you know we've got a fair amount of money coming in we can do basically what we want at this point 
um, without having to wait too long for one to do something drastic. The only thing we can't really do at the moment is build massive land bridges that, you know, across water that span the entire map. And the reason you'll do that in the late game is with oil, and I'll kind of I'll do I'll do that in many 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 episodes from now because this is a very long game. But in the meantime, I'm going to add more coal mines to this. Uh, I'll try and add as many as I can, and then in the next episode, like I said, I'll I'll take off and show you the other industries. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed these videos, if there's two of them. Um, I'll see you next time, and take care.